So we looked at 4K, 2K minus 1, minus 3 over 6K, and we said that 4K over 2K minus 1 does not reduce, right? What about 3 over 6K? Can the 3 and 6 reduce? Isn't this 3 times 2? And can't I cross off the 3's? Leaving minus, minus right, and that's like a 1 left over, 1 over 2K? Now, common mistake. How can I make these the same now? Just add a minus 1? So let's think about that. Fractions. If I have 3 over 4, we know that that's 0.75, right? Can I just minus 1? You get 2 thirds? Is 3 fourths and 2 thirds the same thing? No. 2 thirds is 60, you know, 67%, and this is 75%. So that is not a, that is not something legal you could do, but it does. You're like, why not just add a minus one, right? So two k and two k minus one, do they have anything in common? They both do have a two k, but it's the factor two k, the factor two k minus one. So technically, they have nothing in common. Okay. No, it's not simplified. We need to combine it into one fraction. This is not my final answer. Yep, 2K about here, right? Now, because I put 2K here, and 2K minus 1 was together, I need parentheses. I don't need parentheses here because 4 and K, there's no plus or minus signs, okay? Now, what does this need? 2K minus 1. And I'm going to put 2K minus 1 in parentheses to remember that they were together. Okay. I'm sorry, I should have left a little more space there because it's starting to get a little crowded. So 4K times 2K is close. 4 times 2 is 8. K times K is K squared. So it's 8 K squared. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as minus 1 2k minus 1 and it's all over 2k 2k minus 1 right Oops. excuse that uh, blob there I accidentally wrote down the wrong number it's not so don't write down the blob now I forgot to mention the only reason why we could combine these fractions is because this denominator is 2k 2k minus 1 this denominator is 2k, 2k minus 1, so I could combine them with the operation of subtraction because that was subtraction, right? So what do I do with this minus 1? Huh? Distribute. distribute. So I'm going to distribute it to the 2k and the minus 1. So I get 8k squared. Minus 1 times 2k is minus 2k. And minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Down here, should I distribute? No. no. You should leave that alone. Denominators, just leave those alone. Why? Because what we're going to do is we're going to factor this. And if anything reduces, then we're going to cross them off. And it's really hard to see what reduces when things aren't factored. So you could distribute, but then later on you're going to have to factor again. So you're kind of wasting your time. Okay. Hmm. Does this factor? I have a trinomial. A um, A is not one. Let's think about it. Eight k squared minus two k plus one. Does that factor? So don't I take eight times one? Negative two. Are there two numbers? Then when you multiply them, you get 8. When you add them, you get negative 2. 4 and 2 is 6. 4 and negative 2 would be positive 2. And would be multiplied to negative 8. Right? So there is no combination. But there, no, there isn't. So what that tells you is that this is simplified.
Okay? But usually, this would factor, making two factors, and then it would cross off with something else down here. Okay? In the book, they're more clever about making problems where after you factor this, it, 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 more stuff cancels. You guys still don't believe me that there's not two numbers that multiply to eight? Yes? Why did I take it out of both? Here? So why not just cross those off? Because these are together through subtraction. And so you can't just cross those off. And besides that, um, like you're the, we are the ones that put the 2K minus 1 there to begin with, right? Well, actually, we put 2K. GCF? No. No, there's no GCF here. I can't take 8 divided by 2 because 8 is with all this, right? That is my final answer, yes.